Hello guys. Today we're gonna be fishing with Dove Skills Fishing. Guys, please if you see his channel, please like, subscribe, and share his videos. He's an amazing fisherman. Great. He fishes with me a lot. We normally fish all the time when I have time and he's available. We go fishing together. We normally fish uh, Wilson Dwarf Blackmore Club. Uh, today we're fishing at a boat club on a dead low tide. We're just busy setting up. We just came, got here now. And yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be spinning today. See what these waters hold. Let's hope today is gonna be a good day. There's a slight breeze. I wouldn't say actually wind. There's a slight breeze. And yeah, it seems like a perfect day of fishing. It's not too hot. Perfect Durban weather. So stay tuned for more, guys. I'm just gonna grab the camera real quick. Guys, today we're gonna be fishing with the, well, I'll be fishing with the cracker shrimp made by Sensation. This, and uh, Zoskills will be fishing with the minnow, also made by Sensation. This is out of circulation, you won't get these in here. You're very lucky if you get your hands on this. These lures, please note these lures are 12 years old and they were given to me as a gift. Uh, and today Zoskills will be showing us how to make a FG knot. FG knot. So it's a learning curve for all our guys out there that don't know how to do this knot. Apparently it's a really simple, easy and effective knot. One of the strongest. We're going to start in three. One, two, three. Over and under. Over and under just there. Over and under. Over and Let under. Let me just come on this side. So you, you continue going over and under. For about, I do it about 12 times. Make sure your braided line, the line that's connected to your rod or your reel, is very stiff at all times. So it's over and under? Mm -hmm. And over and under on the side. So it's like you're plaiting someone's hair. Yeah, the South Africans would know. <laughs> <laughs> so guys you're basically going over and under and pulling tight each time for about 12 times yeah. 10 to 12 times so, so, that, so that represents the f to the f over and under so that's what's called the fg knot okay. so the next step is is a g shape i'll, I'll basically ex ex explain it to you when you get to that point so the FG knot is from braid to fluorocarbon yeah. and you can do it with mono. Yeah. Okay. I've looked it out, looked, looked it around enough several times. I'm just gonna make it stiffer by bringing them together. Always wet the knot, just to make sure. What I tend to do is just two or three more knots, over and under, just to make sure it's, it's firm. Over there. Now that that's done, you take your tag end of your braid and connect it to your main line braid. Take your tag end of your fluorocarbon, connect it to your main line fluorocarbon. So you just basically gonna make this a tight knot by pulling apart the two different types of line. Okay? So you do that until this part gets tightened. Okay. Then what you do is you take the tag end of your braid. You're gonna go over and do a, a half hitch. Right, you can do a half hitch over both the braid and the fluorocarbon using your tag end of the braid. Okay, so here we go. That's the first one. Right, it's a half hitch knot. Right, <coughs> do another half hitch thereafter. Who's this, by the way? No, I don't know. 
Huh? I don't know. And then what you do is you go over with your bread over to your to your bread man. Right? You go over one time. It's a half inch, right? Let's do that part again. Okay, there we go. Half inch. Pulling down on it, right? So this is gonna be done only on bread to bread. After those two half inches on your combined lines, you, you then remove the fluorocarbon from the equation and you just do a half inch over the bread. So I've done that already. I'm gonna wet that now just to make sure it's so it slides into place. Yeah. And I'll just one more half inch. Right? Just to make sure it's stiff. And now the last part of this knot, the simplest part is you're gonna do a triple half inch, so you're gonna go around three times, just to make sure that's the firmest knot ever made by yourself, right? And you pull down on that. What that does is it holds all those knots in place, right? So I just tend to make sure it's stiff, pull it around. As we done, that's your FG knot. That's not gonna come off anytime soon, right? after all you do is you cut off your tag ends just leave a little bit of line there because this is a friction knot at the end of the day right? i'll leave a very small amount there just enough that if a big fish were to pull you have some leeway right so guys that's how you do a fg knot you're good to go so guys this is something that i want to discuss with you with you all we just started our channels recently I haven't uploaded that much videos, but I will be uploading one today. Swift Fields have uh, uploaded a few recently. Uh, how many videos do we About upload? 10. About 10 videos, doing quite well. Please note that in our videos, guys, don't judge us. We're still learning about fishing. We're not experts in fishing. We're not professionals. Yes, we do fish a lot, but we are still learning. We, every day is a learning curve for us. Every fishing session. The species we catch, we're still learning more about those fish that we catch. We're learning how they, uh, what their habits are, what they're feeding on, when their feeding times. So guys, don't judge us. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And we appreciate all the support. We'll see you guys when we get a hookup. Guys, just what I want to tell you all real quick. Today I'm going to be fishing with a 7 foot Daiwa D-Shock. And a Daiwa Sweepfire 3000 reel with 15 pound line. I'm not putting a leader as the tide is low, so I'm not really expecting big fish to take today. But yeah, let's see. And I'll be using a Shakespeare Ugly Stick uh, 5 foot 6. Uh, it's a light setup. And the reel I'll be using with this rod is the Max Reel Omega 1000 size with the 8 pound braid and 16 pound leader. And the other I'll be using is the Shimano FX-S uh, 66MHB2, that's a 6x6 six rod, and it's a medium rod. And uh, the reel I'm using is the Okuma Sema in the 40 size. I'm using Maxima 20 pound braid on this larger setup with the 16 pound, uh, sorry, with 30 pound leader fluorocarbon as well. So hopefully if a big fish comes through, I'll get him on this rod. If not, it'd be a good fight in the smaller rod. But not expecting any big fish today. Uh, we're generally fishing for the smaller fish that are in here during the low tide. So that's that's about it for the setup. I think we're ready to hit the water right now. So, so today is just all about fun. Let's just see what we catch. We're trying to catch some good fish. Not really expecting monsters. But yeah. Okay, stop. Mm. So guys. I just got a hook up on the cracker shrimp that I was using. Pardon. Not sure what it is. Kingfish. It's a kingfish, first king, king year of the season. I've been waiting how many months, so? Hey, over two, three months, boy. Nice one for your first as well. This is my first kingfish for the season. I caught it on the cracker shrimp by sensation. This is actually a, a little GT. So, it's slippery. So I'm just gonna remove the hook real quick. There we 
you go. This is a little GC. Yeah, bro. Oh. Put it back there. I'm shooting you. I'm on. You're on? I'm on. Did you catch a sensation, there? On a sensation, there. The minnow. Let me just get closer. Well done, Zeus. Thanks, man. So that's the second fish for today's episode. Get him off this. Uh, in the mouth there. Yeah, grab his head. Put your hand inside his mouth. I'm gonna hurt his eye. It's a decent size. Flatty. Flatty. Did it fight? Yeah. Mm. Bite in. Chomping on me. Mm. I need to go to my bag there quickly. I got a package. Get it. It's out. Yeah. I'm gonna release this guy into the water. As you can see, his pipes went through the plastic right there. You have to be very careful, guys, when you are handling this fish. Nice size, nice fight, man. Put him back to fight another day. There it goes. So second fish for the session. Let's see what else we can catch.